How is everybody doing today? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. First, I'd like to say thank you for all the great comments and questions I've been getting. I love hearing from you, so drop a comment anytime with questions. You just want to let me know what you've been catching. That's great, too. This is a fishing game, and fishermen love to tell stories. So, Bassmasters Fishing 2022 has been a very fun game. Yes, it does have a few bugs, some known issues that Dovetail is working on. So a couple of days ago, they released a statement on their website and shows some of the bugs they are fixing. They got some patches that will be coming out hopefully soon. But so far, none of these, at least for me, have been a real game-stopping bug. So yes, blue catfish don't bite, and that is kind of a disappointment to me because I love catfishing. So sponsors don't work most of the time. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But after a few weeks of playing the game, bass bucks really are not an issue. So once you start winning some big tournaments, you get 100,000 bass bucks in your pocket. You can really purchase all the gear you want. So I did get my boat for free since that data sponsor was working, but for gear... I really don't have to worry about it because I've been winning so many tournaments, I get all the gear I need. So let me start out by saying that these three top bass fishing lures I'm going to talk about today are my favorites and subject to change. I also would like to mention that no real fish were harmed in the making of this video. Just had to throw that out there. I don't want you to get banned from Twitter like I did for making a comment on a hunting video game post. So let's get into the top three bass lures. And yes, other lures catch fish, worms, spoons, crankbaits, lipless baits. Today we're going to go over my top three with a few honorable mentions. Let's take a look at the Norman Deep Little Black Blue. The Nutter Shad's also one of my favorites, but the Black Blue diving down to 9 to 12 feet is one of my top three lures. I will show you how to get that diving crankbait down deep. So these little deep weed crawfish, also a great selection. So they come in two different depths, three to five feet and four to six feet, and they do catch bass. And lots of them. They also catch other fish, which can kind of be dangerous in a bass fishing tournament. So let me show you my all time favorite lure, the 200 series spring crawl yellow. So it dives down to seven to eight feet. Now there is one small, maybe serious problem with this lure in a bass tournament because it will catch lots of other fish. I'm talking garfish, white and striped bass, freshwater drum, crappie, bluegill, catfish, you name it, it just will catch them all. So if I get into a situation where fish are biting the lure before I even get a chance to see what they are, I will switch over to the number one lure, the One Knocker Yellow Perch, which is a pro tip, by the way, in the selection of recommended lures. The One Knocker Yellow Perch is their favorite largemouth bass lure. So the One Knocker, the deep little in black blue, is two of my favorite. Of course, my favorite probably is the spring. Now, the Yum Christy Crawl Tinfoil any of these creature baits also work great. I always try to keep probably a tinfoil rigged up and ready to go at all times. The grape soda bombs, another great bait that would catch bass. I also like the sledgehammer swim jigs and I probably use their silver flake shad most of all. But feel free to try any of these. If you have a favorite lure, plastic, diving crankbait, let me know, drop a comment. I would definitely use it. If I love it, I will give you a shout out in my next video. So right here in this video, I am catfishing because I love catfish and you can see what bites my booty shaker. A big old hog bass. What a catch on a booty shaker. So who doesn't love a booty shaker? Bass, catfish, they all bite it. So let's get into some bass fishing action. I will show you some of these lures in action. And I want to give you a tip on how to get your diving crankbait down deep and fast. So you can work it down closer to the bottom. Not going to set any records with that one. So as soon as I cast out, I'm going to change my reel speed to two or three, get it down real quick, 
as soon as I start reeling in, I lower the reel speed back to one. That way I can just slowly work it along the bottom. Fish on! So let's take a look at some other action. I'm going to show you some game footage from Toledo Bend. Something very strange happened to me in Toledo Bend fishing a three-day tournament. Give that hog a bone. The deep little in black and blue has won me several tournaments. Has been a great lure. This is probably my number three bass lure if I had to put them in order. So let's take a look at some more action. I'm going to show you one of my favorite lures. Probably my all time favorite lure. The little spring crawl yellow. It just catches fish like crazy. So the 200 series spring crawl yellow does catch fish and it catches lots of other fish so in a total inch tournament i will throw that little sucker all day long and just pull in fish after fish after fish so if i get into a spot like this location in toledo bend where i know there's bass hanging around those grass beds right under the lily pads but the crappie and the bluegill and the white bass are biting it as soon as it hits the water I'm going to switch over to the one knocker yellow perch. So recently I was fishing a tournament, a three day event in Toledo Bend on day number two. It was raining. I didn't do that great, but on day three, I just tore them up. So I caught five largemouth bass. Each bass weighed 13 pounds, 13 ounces and no it was not Friday the 13th, so I'm just not sure about that. But So as always, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you out. Drop me a comment with any bass that you catch. If you catch a legendary, I definitely want to know about it. Do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. Keep on fishing, have some fun with the game, and I will see you next time.